This audio session will enable you to have a great night's sleep every night, to go to bed with confidence. It will also help you remove any barriers preventing you from sleeping, whether these are conscious or unconscious. After using the session, you will be able to get off to sleep and stay there with ease, relaxed in your newfound lifestyle. Just imagine being able to go to bed with confidence that you'll have a good night's sleep, whenever, wherever, with whoever you choose. This programme was made with you in mind. It was carefully crafted to help you move deeper into your own self and to begin to shed light on the issues you are facing. This is not meant to be a substitute for counselling or professional help, but rather a companion that is ready to support you whenever you feel you need it. I would like to commend you for taking a step today toward change. You have made a brave choice and you will be rewarded with greater insight as a result. Please make time in your daily life for reflection and contemplation. If you don't give yourself time and space to grow and mature as an introspective human being, then you are sure to remain in the habits and patterns that have led you toward finding assistance in this hypnosis and NLP session. Let this audio programme be a tool in your toolbox and also collect other tools that will assist you such as affirmations, positive people around you, healthy eating and living, and stress-reducing exercises like massage, meditation, nature walks, tai chi or yoga. You have now decided to take your sleep back into your own hands, and congratulations! Make sure to listen to this recording in the most comfortable location and position that you can. You may choose to use headphones or just listen aloud in a quiet place. Allow your body to relax and your mind will follow along. You will be entering into a hypnotic or trance-like state. You will remain aware in the deep background of your mind so there is no need to fear any loss of control, being manipulated or doing anything that you do not want to do. Be okay with the images and scenery that appear. You already experience trance states regularly throughout your day, such as when you daydream or drift in thought, for example. These are simply a natural way for the mind to rest. Meanwhile, your subconscious mind will attempt to organise itself, clearing out the ideas and thoughts that are no longer beneficial for you and holding on to the images and impressions that you need to keep yourself moving forward in your natural path of progression. Listen to this recording daily for optimum success. If you have limited time, then listen every second day. Doing this for 21 days in a row will help to bring you profound results and will probably change your life forever. Please, never listen to this while you are handling machinery or driving a vehicle. Refrain from listening while under the influence of drugs, medications or alcohol. And if you happen to suffer from epilepsy or a psychiatric condition, please consult your physician before proceeding. Now, whatever your reason for sleeping badly, the result is misery, so we understand why you're here. The bottom line is that if you don't sleep well, then you're frustrated, irritable and angry at night, and stressed, irritable and angry all day too. You're quite right to be here. Something has to be done. Ironically, since there's going to be a hypnotic element to the process you'll hear on this programme, you might fall asleep listening to it. In fact, to some extent that's my intention. 
If you do just fall asleep, then you obviously need the nap. But you won't get the full benefit of the programme unless you make a commitment to come back and listen again in the next day or two. If you don't, there's a good chance that you won't have made much, if any, significant difference to your poor sleep patterns. One good night's sleep won't do you much good in the long run. You need to learn how to get your mind to allow you to sleep in the long term. We've designed this programme so that it will help you no matter what your reason for not getting great sleep. Maybe you're a shift worker who has to sleep by day sometimes. Perhaps you have a partner who snores loudly. Or you just find it difficult to switch off and get off to sleep or go back to sleep after a call of nature has woken you. Or any other reason. There is a great deal of advice out there about what is known as sleep hygiene and you can certainly look that up if you want to know more about it. Most of it is common sense though, although it's fair to say that there are plenty of people who act counter to common sense and then wonder why they pay the price. A brief summary of good sleep hygiene suggestions includes such things as not drinking coffee for at least four hours before you go to bed, ensuring that the room is dark. If you're a shift worker who has to stay awake all night, for example, these can be especially valuable tips, since there's a tendency to try to stay awake through the shift by topping up on caffeine. And the curtains hanging in your bedroom may be perfectly adequate at night, but maybe they let in far too much daylight during the day. Investing in an extra thick blind you can cover the window with may make a massive difference to your quality of sleep and your life. A further small investment in a set of earplugs may also make the difference between good sleep and little or no sleep, both for people who have to sleep by day and for those who have a noisy snoring partner beside them. And you surely don't need reminding that stimulants such as alcohol and smoking, not to mention other drugs, can interfere with your sleep too. These are simple changes and steps you can make to induce sleep. But the one most important suggestion is shutting out as much light as possible and this is especially important because light stimulates the pineal gland to cause you to wake up. Now, you can look up sleep hygiene anywhere, so let's, without further ado, take you through a few practices and a process to enable you to get great sleep every time you need it, whether it's by day or by night. Believe it or not, good sleep begins with how you set things up by day in your mind. The problem is, once you've slept badly a few times, you can create a kind of vicious loop inside your head. Saying to yourself, I hope I sleep well tonight, with a mental sigh and a tone of voice full of doubt, doesn't program your mind for good sleep. It just makes you tense. Since you can't force yourself to stop thinking thoughts like that either, You'll just make yourself think of them more if you try that. It's like a Chinese torture. The trick is to use something called a pattern interrupt. Our minds tend to go on autopilot until something grabs our attention. You know, you're driving to work, radio playing, traffic annoying, lights go red, yawn, same old routine and bang. A 12-foot gorilla just jumped out in front of your car. You'd slam on the brakes and screech to a halt. Now you're not on autopilot anymore, are you? A pattern interrupt makes your conscious mind take over when your subconscious mind was just drifting. Which is fine most of the time, but sometimes there are patterns that work counter to the result we'd like. And in this case, good sleep. So from now on, Whenever you catch yourself thinking thoughts that make you tense up and worry about how well you're going to sleep tonight, 
you're going to imagine the Dormouse from Alice in Wonderland is going to pop right in the centre of your mind's eye. And he's saying, you know, you can sleep easily every time you want. And then he'll yawn and fade away again. Try that now. Imagine that Dormouse filling up your mind's eye and saying, you know, you can sleep easily every time you want. And then he yawns and fades away again. Do it once more. Get the practice. The trick is catching yourself doing it. And as soon as you do, there he pops into your head saying, you know you can sleep easily every time you want. And then he yawns and fades away again. Silly? Yes, but it works. And you want to sleep well, don't you? OK, now I'm going to fast forward the clock to bedtime. And as you lay in bed, ready to settle for sleep, what's going through your head? Worries about not sleeping? Things preoccupying you from the day? Concerns about all the things on your to-do list? One of our greatest skills as human beings is that we can choose what to think about. So just as you probably heard good bedtime stories when you were a child that sent you off to sleep, tell yourself a good story in your head. One of the best ways to do this, and it really is effective, is to tiptoe back in your mind through your day and find the three best things that happened. Even if you've had a terrible day, and in fact, especially if you've had one of those days, this is a very powerful and rather lovely process. Deliberately looking for positive events is comforting, soothing and fun. And there will always be something. You found a penny in the street. You got an email thanking you for something you'd forgotten you'd even done. A small child playing made you smile. There was a nice sunset. Your sandwich at lunchtime was delicious. Somebody remembered to make you a coffee without asking. Get the idea? Try to find three every night. There's a good chance you'll be asleep before you get to the third one, but assuming you find all three, just replay them in your mind over and over. Notice how they made you smile. Feel warm inside, like hot chocolate. Yummy, dreamy, floating. Life is not so bad after all. Hmm. So let's begin the relaxation process that will both help you get off to sleep now and show you how to sleep in future. And then when you listen to this, every day or every other day, each time the process will not only help you sleep, but it will help you learn the effective pattern of how to sleep so that later on you can do this all on your own. You must now find a comfortable position. You can choose to sit back comfortably in a chair or on a sofa, in a recliner or on a bed. Once you have adjusted any restrictions in your clothing and settled into your spot, you can begin to accept the idea of letting go. You are ready now to understand just how easy it can be to have a great night's sleep every night once you are ready to do so. You can begin to allow yourself the permission to enter into a hypnotic state. In fact, go ahead. Tell yourself you're giving yourself full permission to let go. Knowing how easy and good, even life-changing, for you to be able to sleep easily can be. In your mind, or even out loud, tell yourself, you are safe. 
you are eager to travel to the depths of your unconscious mind, to discover the inner you that is ready and able to get a great night's sleep every night. It is important that you believe yourself, that you trust yourself. This moment calls for self-love and trust. And your self-confidence in your ability to sleep is beginning to increase already as your eyes begin to softly close. I want you to take a deep, slow breath in and now release the breath. That's good. Notice the quality of your breath. Does the breath flow into your chest or deeper into your belly? Pay attention to the next few breaths and make sure to follow them right down to your belly. Feel your belly rise on the inhale and fall on the exhale. Be open to the idea that you can become able to have a great night's sleep every night just as easily as you can monitor your breath going in and out. And as you begin to deepen into this trance, it is necessary that you release any tensions in your body. Starting at your right foot, begin to release any muscles that you are still holding on to. Move up the right leg until you're at the knee, just relaxing. And move up to the right hip. Now do the same for the left leg. Starting at your left foot, begin to release any muscles that you are still holding on to. Move up the left leg to the knee. And on until you're at the left hip. Just relaxing. Clear any tension in your hips. Let go of your deepest pelvic muscles. You may be clenching tightly and you don't even know it. So just let go. Continue to feel the rise and fall of your belly and let the heaviness of your arms and shoulders sink down and melt away. Feel the openness in the palms of your hands. Feel the expansive breath in your chest and abdomen. Open your jaw to stretch it and then release it. Let your eyes sink into your head until they are floating peacefully. Feel the tingling of the hair on your head and the lightness of the air around your face. You are ready now to move deeper inside to release your inner you, who finds it effortless to sleep with ease and without excessive waking. I will ask you to open your eyes one more time in a moment and when you close them again, you will sink into a wonderful floating softness and you will be ready to take a journey. Okay, 
Open your eyes slightly on your next inhale. Now close them on the exhale and step securely into the most relaxed state of awareness you can imagine. To help you relax deeper, I will lead you on a journey. Listen to the sound of my voice. Listen. Deep. Down. Inside. Of course you are. If you feel yourself drifting away at any time, just focus on the sound and vibration of my voice as they enter into your ears. You are doing so well already. You are beginning to feel more relaxed and able to sleep easily with every breath you take. So you're going to put on a relaxation suit. This suit will help you release all the tensions in your body. And when the tensions are gone, you will be immersed in your trance. You may know what a wetsuit looks like. It fits very snug to your skin. Hold a suit up in front of yourself that looks like a wetsuit. And if you have trouble seeing this, just imagine a suit with arms and legs all attached. And it is made out of very tight spandex. Mmm. And yes, you are going to be putting it on. Begin to slip your right leg into the suit. It will feel snug but comforting. Take a deep breath in and feel as the suit comes up and over the top of your right leg. Begin to slip your left foot and leg into the suit. You pull firmly on the suit as it slides over your left thigh. It's very snug on both of your legs. You can feel your legs relaxing as they're caressed by the suit. You pull the relaxation suit over your hips and begin to slip your right arm into place. You wiggle the arm into the suit until it covers your right shoulder and begin to slide your left arm into the suit as well. Take a deep breath in as your left arm slips completely into this suit. Feel your arms held securely by the suit. The only thing left now is to zip up the front of your relaxation suit and you're feeling completely relaxed in your legs and your arms. In fact, your legs and arms are completely numb and ready to enter into your trance. So take the zipper and you zip up the front of your relaxation suit. It stops at your throat. Your chest and back are held very safely in this suit and you're able to breathe freely and fully. Watch yourself as you lie down on the ground in your relaxation suit. Completely relaxed. No fear of anything, let alone being unable to sleep properly. You're almost completely immersed in your trance. And as you're lying on the ground in your suit, you close your eyes to take a rest. You can feel your breath moving deeply and freely, in and out. And on the count of three, you will slip fully and completely into your trance. Feel your legs and lower body held safely in your suit. One. Feel your upper body held safely in your relaxation suit. Two. Feel yourself falling completely asleep in your relaxation suit. Three. 
and now you're fully and completely immersed in your trance. And I don't know if you'll forget to remember your insomnia or whether you'll remember to forget that you ever had trouble sleeping before and whether you'll do that more now or later or both and it doesn't really matter because you can begin to reprogram your subconscious mind which is the part of you that knows how to send you to sleep and you can reprogram your subconscious mind to remember how good, good sleep feels. You know, your subconscious is very obedient. It does exactly as you tell it. And it hears not only the instructions, but how you say them too. Imagine your subconscious is a small child. How you soothe a small child to sleep. And you can speak to your subconscious in that way. Tell it, gently, how it loves to sleep. And praise it, you're so good at sleeping well. Let yourself begin to enjoy imagining that you can remember a time in the future when you have slept well. And your subconscious understands that future time is now, tonight, or the very next time you need to sleep. And you remember that feeling of waking after a really good night's sleep so refreshed. Nothing disturbs you once you settle to sleep and you fall asleep easily and stay soundly sleeping until you are fully refreshed. Your subconscious mind knows so many things and it knows what you want. It loves to please you it's like a good child. Once you've given it clear directions, it will always do as you've told it. And you can remind your mind to rewind and relax and remember how good it feels when you have slept so well for a week. That's right. Your subconscious remembers refreshing your memory, and so easily, sleepily, dreamily, thoughts just float away, and you rest of your life sleeping well done. Ten out of ten for good sleep. You let go and let your mind wander. Wonder, full sleep, dreamy, drifting. And your subconscious remembers. You used to call it the land of Nod. Nod, ding off to sleep. E. Memories of how good it feels when you have slept so well for a month. It's lovely to dream. And dreams can come. True life, bedtime stories that are like lullabies. The cradle will rock, solid, sleep. And you can tiptoe back through your day, snuggling down, tucking yourself in, mentally snuggling, down inside the covers finding good memories, magic moments that made you smile. Feel good inside. There's always something to be grateful for and sleep will come so easily. 
you let go. And you don't know how you do that. It's so funny how things just happen. To be beginning to drift off to sleep. Like the Dormouse in Alice in Wonderland could sleep any time he wanted some tea. Perhaps that was the Mad Hatter. It doesn't matter. It was all a dream Alice had. And you can imagine a time in the future now when poor sleep is just a vague memory. And you can listen to this whenever it helps you to sleep. It's one of those funny things. Is that peculiar? Or ha-ha? Ha. Having a good night's sleep. Good night, ladies, was a song. But lullabies are better. Sleeping better and better. Every night, every bedtime. Just as you let go and trust your subconscious about so many things, it knows how to circulate your blood, digest your food, and everything works in a rhythm, day and night, beating your heart, breathing in and breathing out. You can count on that for life, day and night, sleeping and waking up to the fact that sleep is so natural and there's nothing for you to do. It just comes all by itself and you sleep sound sound asleep, every time, every bedtime. Nothing disturbs you once you settle to sleep, and you fall asleep easily, and stay sound, Lee sleeping, until you are fully refreshed. Your subconscious mind knows so many things, and it knows what you want. It loves to please you. It's like a good child. Once you give it clear directions, it will always do as you've told it. And you can remind your mind to rewind and relax and remember how good it feels when you have slept so well for a week. That's right. Your subconscious remembers refreshing your memory and so easily, sleepily, dreamily, thoughts just float away and you rest of your life sleeping well. Done. Ten out of ten for good sleep. You let go and let your mind wander, wander, full sleep, dreamy, drifting, and your subconscious remembers you used to call it the land of nod, nodding off to sleep, the memories of how good it feels when you have slept so well for a month. It's lovely to dream, and dreams can come true. True life. Bedtime stories that are like lullabies. The cradle will rock solid sleep. And you can tiptoe back through your day, snuggling down, tucking yourself in mentally snuggling down inside the covers, finding good memories, magic moments 
that made you smile. Feel good inside. There's always something to be grateful for. And sleep will come so easily you let go. And you don't know how you do that. It's so funny how things just happen to be beginning to drift off to sleep. Like the Dormouse in Alice in Wonderland could sleep any time he wanted some tea. Perhaps that was the Mad Hatter, but it doesn't matter. It was all a dream Alice had. And you can imagine a time in the future, now, where poor sleep is just a vague memory. And you can listen to this whenever it helps you to sleep. It's one of those funny things. Is that peculiar? Or ha ha? Having a good night's sleep. Good night, ladies, was a song. But lullabies are better, sleeping better and better. Every night, every bedtime. Just as you let go and trust your subconscious about so many things, it knows how to circulate your blood digest your food and everything works in a rhythm night and day beating your heart breathing in and breathing out you can count on that for life day and night, sleeping and waking, up to the fact that sleep is so natural and there's nothing for you to do. It just comes all by itself and you sleep sound, sound asleep, every time, every bedtime. Just as you let go, and trust your subconscious about so many things. And here and now, just continue to sink into a deeper sleep, a natural sleep, sound asleep. So go right ahead and have a good